Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this cantilever beam with uniformly distributed load. So we are going to find out the support reactions and then to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram for this beam. So we see here there's a cantilever beam where only support where only provided with a fixed support here A. And there is a load of 5 kN per meter acting on this beam throughout the length of 6 meter. So to find out the support reaction for a cantilever beam, it's very really easy and simple. You just have to find out the total load acting on the beam. So to find out the reaction support here at A, for example, RA is acting in vertical direction. It is a fixed support, so it can take the vertical reaction. It can also take the horizontal reaction, for example, RAX. And it can also resist the movement MA. So we are going to find all of them. Now, if there is no horizontal load acting on the beam, so Rx will be equal to 0. There is no horizontal load acting on the beam. In Ra, what is the vertical resistance or the vertical reaction of this at this point? So this is unknown to us. So it's very simple. We just have to multiply this load 5 kN per meter on the length on which it is distributed, which is 6 meter. So Ra will be equal to the 5 kN per meter. 5 kN per meter is the load. Multiplying with the 6 meter. So meter and meter will be cancelled. We will get 30 kN. So 30 kN is the load acting on this beam which will be at the center here. 30 kN. And of course there is only one support. So this whole load will be transferred into this support to so 30 kN will be taken by this support now how to draw its shear force in bending moment diagram or how to find out the moment here at a point so moment at a point we can find it very simply because moment at a point is equal to the force acting on the beam multiplying it with the moment arm so now force acting on the beam is the total load which is 30 kN multiplying with the moment arm now this load keep in mind will always act at the center right this will always act at the center of the beam so it is it means 6 divided by 3 because 6 is the total distance so from here to here it is 3 meter so 3 is the moment arm so what we got because this force will create the moment like in this way around point a so 13 to 3 we got 90 kilonewton meter is the moment here at this point so now to find out the shear force in bending moment diagram we can draw the reference lines now for the shear force for example this is the reference line for the, the first one is the reference line for the shear force diagram in kilonewton and the second one is the a reference lines for the bending moment diagram in kilonewton meter so now to draw the shear force diagram we will start here from reference line 0 0 for the shear force is the reference line and now we know r a support reaction here at a point is acting in the upper direction to take to resist the upcoming load so r a is acting in upper direction 30 kilonewton so it will go from 0 up to 30 kilonewton in upper direction to here and then it will come down but we know how much we know till this point till this point the total distance is 6 meter so 30 is here is acting upward so 30 and then the force is acting downward this force is acting downward so minus how much is acting downward 5 multiplied by 6 because up to this point the distance is 6 meter from here to here this distance is 6 meter because we start from the left end so 30 was acting in upper direction minus 5 multiplied by 6 because 6 is the distance from this end to this end so we got 30 minus 30 we got 0 so it means up to this point the shear force should be equal to 0 so we will bring this line from here to here like in this way so this is our shear force diagram for this kind of loading to draw the bending moment diagram there are two ways one is we know that MA is 90 kN meter which is acting at the A point. So we can simply write here 90 
kilo newton meter it's a negative bending moment because cantilever beam always takes the negative bending moment so it's a minus 90 kilo newton meter is the moment arm and then we see here there is no fixed support provided throughout the beam it means that at this point there is no support provided it will be equal to zero so we can draw directly simply draw the bending moment diagram like in this way so this will be our bending moment diagram or we can find in another way to find out the area of this shear force diagram and the area of this is half base into height because it is a triangle you see here the shear force is a triangle like this is a base this is the height and this is the hypotenuse so the triangle so area is half base is 6 meter multiplying with the height height is 30 kilonewton so if you multiply and divide this value we will get here 90 kilonewton meter so it means 90 kilonewton meter is the shear is the bending moment diagram is the bending moment value here at this point is at the ex extreme left end where the maximum shear force is so it is 90 and then there is no bending moment there is no support provided so of course it will come to zero at this point if i call it b and this is b so it will be zero at point b so we'll bring this simply to zero from the minus 90. so this is the way how to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for the sim for the cantilever beam keep in mind if this is a one degree line then this will be a two degree line it means if there is a linear line it is a linear line now in this case so it is a parabolic line parabola so because bending moment is always one degree greater than the shear force diagram hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video